Hey guys, so it's April from Good Books and Good Wine, and I have another Stocking the Shelves book haul for you. The last one, no, is it the last one of March? No, no, there's next week, which is also March. Wow, I'm getting real ahead of myself as far as time. Anyways, first book in my super short haul today is Salvage by Alexandra Duncan. Basically, what this book is is it's a science fiction book. It's about a girl who is Parastrata Ava. I don't know what that means. Apparently she is a silly earthstruck girl who got what was coming to her. There's a couple blurbs on the back and I'm still not sure what this is about but I'll read you uh, Stephanie Perkins blurb because she seems to be blurbing all the books that I want to read lately. Salvage is the book I've been waiting for. Kick-ass, brilliant, feminist science fiction. Watch out world, Alexandra Duncan has arrived. Ray Carson, another one of my favorite authors, also blurbs it and she says, It is Ava's personal journey from oppression to self-actualization by turns harrowing and heartbreaking but ultimately triumphant that will keep readers glued to the pages. Highly recommended. Listen, if Ray Carson and Stephanie Perkins blurb a book, I am going to want to read it. So I'm really excited for Salvage. Recklessly Royal by Nicole Chase. It is the sequel to uh, Suddenly Royal, which I haven't read either, but it seems like The Princess Diaries for adults, so I can't wait because I love books that have things to do with royalty. I don't know, I just, I always wanted to be a princess or royal or something, like that was my career goal as a kid, because you know I was realistic. Um, so I can't wait to read this. I want to see what happens. Also, the other one, the first book, apparently they're like companion novels, like a lot of new adult books are now, where, you know, books in the same series, they, they go along the same timeline, but you don't necessarily need to read them in order. Speaking of new adult, I was super, super excited for this book, Nash by Jay Cronover. I am reading Rome right now, which is the third of the Mark Men series, and this is the fourth and newest one to come out, and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this book, so you can imagine my um, excitement as I tore into the package, opened it up, and was like, yes! Um, actually I did kind of do that in real life and Tony was like, okay weirdo, and I was like, whatever, <laughs> I'm excited. Why can't you be this good looking? <sighs> My life is awkward. I also purchased some books this week on my Kindle. I bought the handbook for Dragon Slayers by Marie Haskell. Um, my Kindle is really reflective, so you guys can see the reflection of photo booth filming. It's kind of funny. I'm really excited for this book. It's a middle grade novel. I know that it's a fantasy. Beyond that, I have no clue what it's about, but I'm still excited. Also, going with some grown-up type books, I bought Fixed on You by Laurelyn Page. I'm trying to figure out how to hold this so it doesn't like reflect everything. See, you can see my reflection. Woo! Um, Fixed on You by Laurelyn Page is a trilogy. I guess it's supposed to be like the new Fifty Shades of Grey, which I haven't read either, but my mind is open and I, yeah, look at that cover. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be like before bed reading because I'm perverted like that. <laughs> Anyways, what books did you guys buy this week or you got for a review? Can you let me know down in the comments and we can talk about our awesome new books and flail all over the place? 